Hi Troops, my name is Mike Lavoie. I'm with Troop 1571 out of La Crosse, Wisconsin. And today we're gonna learn how to tie a clove hitch knot. And a clove hitch knot is a, is a basic knot. Everybody should know it's very handy for fastening and all kinds of different things. So there's two different ways you can do it. You can tie it around an object and fasten it that way, or you can tie it without an object, slip it over the object and then tighten it that way. So that's the way we're gonna learn first. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna create a loop with your rope. I'm just going to twist it and create a loop just like that. You can see the working end of the rope goes behind the loop. And then the rope goes in front of the working end. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to make another loop with the other end of the rope. That makes a figure eight. And that is that our working end of the rope is also going to go behind this part. So you can see it goes like this, goes into a figure eight. And both of the ends of the ropes are on the back of the, the loops right now. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to fold those loops onto each other over the ends of the rope like so. And then all you have to do is slip it over an object and tighten. And you have your clove hitch knot. You're going to notice when this is done properly, your two ends of your rope are going to run parallel to each other with the middle part of the rope making an X over it. Okay, so that's the first way to do it. Second way we're going to show is when you're actually tying it on an object. Maybe you can't slip it over the end of it for some reason. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your working end of your rope and you're going to go in front of your object, object like so. And you're going to come around the back. And you're going to go over the, the rope making an X like so. And then you're going to come back around with your working end and running parallel to this end of the rope, you're going to go through the loop like so. When you tighten it, you just straighten it up a little bit. When you tighten it, you'll see again that your two ends of your rope are running parallel to each other with the middle of it crossing over. So that is a clove hitch knot. Again, Mike Lavoie with Troop 1571. Till next time, Parati Semper.